Hey everyone and welcome back to the channel. So today we're doing this super simple cloth simulation. This is something that you can do even as a complete beginner. If you are already subscribed to the channel, it would be awesome if you could click on the bell and select all. This way you will get a notification every time I upload a new tutorial so you don't miss any. And as always, I would appreciate a thumbs up if you've been enjoying the tutorials. All right, so our ingredients list includes a plane which is 140 by 140 centimeters with 150 by 150 segments. So, so you need a lot of segments in your geometry in order for all of these nice wrinkles and detail to show up. So that's very important. Then I have another bigger plane which is going to be our ground. Then I have this tie vortex which is going to spin the cloth around. So for that you can just go under create, helpers, tie flow and create a tie vortex. I gave it one centimeter vortex force and 0.7 centimeter pull force. And then I also have this sphere here that the cloth will be attracted to uh, just to give it a little bit of depth sort of rising up. So next we can just create a tie flow. Let's do birth objects, pick the plane. Then you can select the plane, hide selection. Then we need to turn this plane into a cloth. So for that you need a cloth bind operator. So you can either find it down here, cloth bind, or you can just hit tab and type cloth and it'll show up. So cloth bind, hit enter. So I wanted these specific sort of big waves and big wrinkles in the cloth. You can tell that it's not just a thin foil, it's more like a blanket or a curtain. So to get this kind of look, we need to increase the binding stiffness. So I made the stretch stiffness one and the shear I made 0.8. And for the bend, I just did one. So again, these settings just control how stiff the cloth is, how much it's allowed to wrinkle around and bend. Then let's do a particle physics operator. So this allows the cloth to interact with itself and collide with itself. And I'll just set the collision radius as absolute to maybe 0.2. So now I want it to be influenced by the vortex. So I'll just do a force operator, pick the tie vortex here. And as I go forward in my timeline, you can see that it's beginning to work. It's being influenced by the vortex. So that's a good start. Now to improve how this looks, once again, we need to go under tie flow, main settings, particle bind solver and set the solver steps to 20 or higher. So already that looks much better. And under main settings, you want to set the time step to half a frame or one fourth frame, depending on what you're getting. So I'll do half a frame for now. That looks much better. And I want it to collide with the ground. So I'll just do collision operator here, pick the ground plane to collide with. So I want to give it even more wrinkles. So I'll just do another force and enable the noise layer here and set the strength to maybe 0.5 centimeters. So now we're getting much closer to what I initially had. And last thing is I want to attract the cloth to sort of rise up and give it more depth. So I'll just add a find target operator here. As my target, I select the sphere. Now, if you see any issues, you can go back into Typeflow and increase the steps even more, or set the time step to maybe one fourth frame. And what you can also do to smooth out the cloth, because right now I can see some of the polygons, is just select Typeflow and add the relax modifier. So if I switch that on and off, you can see what it does. And you can set the iterations to two if you want. And then you can also add a turbo smooth on top. So I'll just do modifiers, turbo smooth, set the iterations to two. So now I have some very smooth, beautiful cloth. And for the material, I just gave it the sort of metallic fabric material. You can pause the video, look at my settings. So I'll just apply that to tie flow and I'll just unhide my lights as always that I've prepared. Enable the V-Ray IPR. And here we go. This was basically the thumbnail for the video. So as always, I hope that you found this helpful. Don't forget to subscribe, hit the like button, all that good stuff. I'll be uploading more. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.